There is no charge for awesomeness. Hi everybody, you thought you'd get rid of me, it's Guru Bob and it's day 30 of the 30 day challenge. Look, um, I thought I'd better do a, a quick WordPress direct update. There's just a few things that have uh, changed and a couple, and, and well, one thing in particular, particularly in relation to the auto posting functionality that um, uh, that I wanted to draw your attention to. So um, uh, given that we're just nearly towards the end of the challenge, I thought I'd better do this update before we finish. So without further ado, let's uh, jump straight over to WordPress Direct. Now, as I mentioned in a previous video, there's now a specific login page for WordPress Direct at wordpressdirect.com forward slash login and when you go to that page uh, any sort of updates or news updates that uh, WordPress Direct have for the users you'll see them on the left hand side of this page here but I'm going to just quickly log in to our account and what I really wanted to draw your attention to is in relation to the auto posting functionality um, so we're going to click over to the manage content software area and uh, just talk a little bit more about this functionality. Now when you installed your WordPress Direct blog, um, depending on which account you had, a free account or the $1 trial or a silver account or a gold account, then a number of the content modules will have been available to you and you may or may not have installed those when you originally set up your blog. All of the modules that have been installed um, uh, will, will sit within this box here, this uh, box with the grey background. Those modules that you haven't installed, and because you know, we have a Platinum account, there's a lot more here than, than what you may have in your account, but they're here and I can install them at any time by clicking on the Install Software button. Now these uh, modules, they're not plugins, they're specific modules that, that uh, uh, are installed at the system level of a WordPress blog. Um, and every module requires a password. You may make that password the same as the admin password of your blog. It's entirely up to you or you may choose to use a different password but every content module requires a password uh, which you will use when you interface with that content module uh, when you want to begin start to post content. Now if you've installed that module and you have forgotten what your password is then there is a reset software password here uh, in, under the settings button of the uh, of the content module. So you can go in there and reset that password and uh, and, and thereafter you'll be able to access the uh, admin content control panel. Now the thing that I really wanted to actually draw your attention to is um, is this set, set up automated posting uh, button here. Uh, when Ed discussed the auto content posting modules uh, on day 27 of the 30 day challenge he had um, he had sort of at, at the end of that video talked about cron jobs um, when he was um, uh, in the admin control panel well the WordPress direct have got a much simpler way of uh, helping you manage your posting um, if you're using the uh, supervised posting options in the auto content posting modules. And you can see here that, that um, if you click on set up automated posting then you can set the posting frequency here from every 12 hours daily, every two days, three days, weekly uh, and monthly. And <clears throat> you can also set how many posts are posted every time uh, a post occurs. Um, uh, and your choices there are one, two, three, or five posts, uh, depending on which what whatever posting frequency you have. So if you've gone into supervised posting and you've um, set up a whole bunch of posts that will ultimately be posted, then you can set how frequently and how many posts will occur using this very this simple button here. You don't have to worry about setting up cron jobs or anything like that. It can all be managed by this feature here. Now, um, obviously, if you want to actually view the uh, keywords that you've got currently set up for posting, you can click on the View Keywords button here. You get an indication of whether you've set those up to be fully automated uh, or on supervised posting. It will tell you how many posts you have available to you that will work with the auto-posting uh, service here. 
And once that gets below, I think it's 10 or so, or maybe 15, then, then there will be a little warning symbol here, which sort of gives you a bit of a, an indication that you need to go back into the admin control panel and go and get some more content. That's how you manage your, um, your auto cont content posting modules. It's very, very straightforward, and uh, it's a fantastic feature if used properly, as, as we've discussed. Okay, um, that's probably mainly what I wanted to cover here because uh, I wanted to make sure that um, for those of you that want to use the auto content posting functionality that you're aware of how, how simple it actually is to set it up in an automated way. Um, obviously, like with any sort of soft software that's, that's under development, you know, WordPress Direct is still, um, is still being worked on and developed and we'll see feature improvements as time goes by. For those of you that haven't yet um, opened up a free 30-day challenge WordPress Direct account, I do suggest that you go and do that before the end of the challenge because that service may, not, may very likely not be available post-challenge. So make sure you head along there and get your free account and then begin to start using the tool. From what I've seen so far uh, with, with the users that have given us some feedback, some people are getting some fantastic um, rankings um, using their WordPress Direct blogs and it's been you know for those people that have that have set it up and it's working properly for them they're getting some fantastic results so I do recommend that you go and get your account um, so that you don't miss out alright well this is definitely my last video for this year's 30 day challenge so I'd like to offer my congratulations to those of you that have stuck with us all the way through till day 30 I hope you've uh, enjoyed and uh, I hope that you will profit from from the information and the education and the services that you've received through your participation in the 30-day challenge I'm sure I speak for all of us here that we have very much enjoyed doing this and uh, we hope that you've that you have all enjoyed what you, what you've ex you've received and the experience that you've gone through it can be very very rewarding to uh, learn and implement uh, these sorts of techniques um, to your profit and um, it's a wonderful it's a wonderful uh, thing internet marketing when it's done well and uh, I hope that all of you get the chance to enjoy that experience for yourselves there is no charge for awesomeness